Hey, hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Community Service Podcast. Thank you for listening and liking and subscribing and all that jazz. I got tour dates, headlining shows, January 4th, Irvine Improv, California, January 25th, San Jose, California, January 27th, Sacramento. Then in February, I'm in Pennsylvania and Maryland, and those links are finally up. I got all the links. Thank you for your love and support. Come to a show. And right now, LA, I'm home. So uh, Los Angeles, I put all local shows in my story on instagram that goes to facebook so hit me up for local shows la i'm based and i love you all thanks for the support tune in be good and uh yeah that's all yeah yeah christmas holidays kwanzaa tanaka all the jazz happy happy joy joy go hug you go hug someone tune in oh yeah i got my buddy nate heard he's sitting right here (laughs) he's so funny he gives the best diarrhea story again Talk about diary. You hear him giggling. He's not supposed to witness this, but he is. I love him, and he's a brother from another mother. And we say lots of things that will get us canceled. So <laughs> tune in and rat us out at a later date when we're rich. And you want to take it away. Because the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. I love you all. Peace. Oh, shit. Get this? Oh, oh. You getting the old Nate? Oh, yeah. And back the out of me? I fucked my back up. <sighs> Doctor says I need a backy out of me. Let's settle out of court right now for twenty yeah, bucks. Doctor says I need a backy out of me. Oh, I slipped. And, what's that? Friday? Yeah. He's out, right? He's out. Oh right. yeah. Dude, that's the best movie ever made. That shit is straight. It's comedy. on my top Did ten. You uh, it's on. It's on my top ten. Uh, what? How much shit you got in your pockets? Do it, bro. When you when you don't know when you go, bro. I gotta carry all my blind people shit, bro. Like, <laughs> well, your blind ass needs to grab that microphone over there. Yeah, Can you that see microphone it? And you don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> I know. Nate's the funniest fool. I because I forget he's blind. Yeah. And no, then no, all no. of a sudden I look at him. He's like this on his phone. Fuck oh, dude, it. bro. It I'm is... over here mad at him being late. He's he's black albino and blind. Give the man a break. Bro, like, I don't think I was telling somebody somebody the other day. I was like, dude, he was like, man, I was like, bro, you don't understand, dude. Everything is made for your vision. Like, everything in the world is made with the 2020 person's vision at heart. Literally nothing is made for mine. So every time I do something, it's, it's a struggle because I'm like... What have you, to make what up you for got? It. Can I like you don't mind? You, no, you're no, not fucking. You got uh, you got. I know you got the wobbly eyes. Yeah, but yeah that's can you get laser? Nah, dude. Because of the wobbles, huh? I can't get the wobble. Like, there's nothing they can do about the wobblies. Damn, dog. Yeah. You need and Jesus. also you and also and also <laughs> the vision. Like that's not. It's not just the wobblies. It's the. <laughs> you got wobbles and vision. Yeah, dude. It's fucking all over, bro. What's your uh? Vi- what's your prescription? Um, Here's- it doesn't really work because how my vision like the prescription doesn't. I have a very different prescription. Okay, you don't you don't wear glasses, but you know how like I do. That's why I'm curious. Well, no, okay. When I'm, you, I got LASIK. I don't now, but I was now. blind. But wait, wait, here's the thing. But compared at a to certain you, I had part, good eyes. But at a, oh no, dude, yeah, you did. <laughs> but at a certain point, it like becomes blurry for you. I, mine like, was bad though. I couldn't recognize my mama from six feet away. It was bad, bad. Like yeah. I was negative uh, seven point two five. Okay. See, the thing is, is that my prescription doesn't work the same way. My vision isn't based on like it's not blurry for me. There's not a point to where it gets blurry. It's it's a distance thing because of the lack of pigment. Mm. And so, uh, mm. so my vision. It's one of the reasons that most albinos can still drive because it's not. There's not a point where it gets blurry. It's just like. If something's too far away for you to see it, then it's too far away for you to see it. That distance is Why is, is Daddy driving into that dumpster yeah. fire? <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, no, no. See, I'll see the dumpster fire. I just won't recognize it's a dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get We're it. like, there's a big thing on fire over there. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to go left. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. You don't use sunscreen, though, right? Of course I do, dude. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I got five minutes. That's all I I get five minutes and then I'm fucking gonna explode, you get red? bro. Damn. Dude, I don't crazy. get red, I get burnt. Like I, I guess get, I should have I've been your friend how long I I've never asked one albino <laughs> question. Now I'm You know what? I'm I'm gonna be honest, I appreciate it. <laughs> 
That's, you just, you just yeah, because I love you. Yeah, who gives well, a fucking, shit? who gives a fucking shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no I, don't, I, don't, like, I don't mind people asking me questions. Well, it's di- well, strangers, I would get annoyed. Like, hey, man, I don't know you. I don't want to talk about this, but I've known you fucking eight years now. Yeah, so. Well, the thing is, is that, like, strangers ask me all types of shit, say all types of shit. But, like, I just at a certain point, I'm like, if I get mad every time, dude, I'm just, yeah. it's never going to not happen. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, like you're it's, right. It's so you just have gonna... to namaste those bitches. You know, dude, cause it's like it people... sucks though. It, they it suck. does. It does. It does. It does. Well, not all of them. Some of them are like stupid, curious. Yeah, and then some are like genuinely like, bro, to a fucking guy in Mon, you know, Montana, who's in a town of fourteen hundred. Yeah, you're... he's never. Seen, he just, he's like, I didn't even know. I didn't know you were real. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, so. it's true. <laughs> it's, it's I've actually had people say that to me. Yeah, like, I didn't know that you were a real thing. I'm from L.A., so I was like, "Oh, that's nothing." Yeah, dude. Like, if, if you're from like a big city, go to Skid Row. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah, they know. Like, I had a there's remember, 14 homeless <laughs> albinos down there. <laughs> dude, for, for real, dude. There, it, dude. I remember uh, I was uh, I was working at Hollywood Video and this homeless dude who used to come in, but he was in a wheelchair. He's like one of those dudes that was like, he was like, you knew he needed the wheelchair, but he was also using his feet to move it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. like, I'm not gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> that's his. That's his car. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't want to say. His that's, that's his home. That's his wife. That's his ride. That's his life. I see that's the. Everything. I see the stuff that he's got around him. Like the hubcaps are the kids. I wouldn't want to carry that either. <laughs> like, let the man sit down. <laughs> oh, we're so stupid. That's so funny. So, I remember one time he came in and he was like chasing people around the store and i was like bro you can't be doing that dude like you got to get out and he he's like man i know what you are and i was like what he's like you're a white nigger and i was like jesus (laughs) 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 was he black no dude he was Uh, white but i was like i was Half of me was impressed that he knew. And the like, comedian in you were like, that's the best slam I've ever heard in my life. I was like, God damn it. Oh, I wish, I could, I, wish I could smile at the racism. <laughs> but I can't. Did you punch him? No, dude, I couldn't. Like, he was already homeless. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, man. <laughs> Club that fool. Nah, man, because then I got it. I don't know if you, you ever seen somebody get up, out, like, get back into their wheelchair. It's not. It's not. Yeah. Right? It's slow, too. That's the worst I part of I would have stole his wheelchair and regret it later. Yeah, no, and then probably returned it. Yeah, see, but I worked <laughs> That sounds, yeah. Oh, like, you worked which, there? Yeah, dude, I was at the Hollywood. I worked there. I don't want, because I know, I've seen homeless dudes just like, you're like, oh, I'll just shit in your store. And like, <laughs> what, it's you, true. <laughs> what are you, what, it's what true. are you going to do? How many motherfuckers shit on the walls at Trader Joe's? Oh, and sons dude. of bitches. One of them was our coworker. I called Jeez. him out. You remember that? You remember that? <laughs> I called out. Shit on the wall, dude. Yeah, dude. (laughs) Oh, the wall of what? We had to have a meeting about it. What the fuck? (laughs) What? Well, yo, hold up. Why? You you mean people shit on the wall? The coworker kept. No, well, this homeless dude, Dickie Benz, kept shitting on the wall. (laughs) Y'all know his name? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know his name. Why do you know his name? No. (laughs) He's okay. He's homeless. He's probably dead now. Dickie Benz. That's (laughs) fucked up. But he he didn't have much left. Sounds like like a dude that got shot by (laughs) Joe Pesci. (laughs) 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 Hey, whatever happened to Dickie Benz? Hey. (laughs) Don't ask. He's sweat. Um, Dickie Benz is shit on the wall. He's this, he was this homeless guy that lived out of his car, but he had some sort of scheme to where he had some sort of monies, but it wasn't much. You know, he lived mm-hmm. out of his car and he smelled and you could tell and he liked his drink and he was always sunburned, which means yeah. he lived outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, what's so funny because if, if you're really tan you're either rich as fuck or homeless <laughs> yeah you notice that yeah but you're also or you're like or indigenous and that don't count or you've decided that that's your life like you you, you walk around with a surfboard yeah you know what i mean like you that's that's what you just are yeah that's what oh shit where's it going you're, oh so he lived out of his car and he would come and charge his phone and use the bathroom and then it was early in the morning there's no customers yet so the uh the amount of poo poo bandits of who it could be is very limited. And so we kept seeing the pattern till finally, I'll name her because it's nothing but love. Sandy's the best. And she was the, the, one of the best managers I ever had. She fixed the whole store. The whole store was broken. The whole, everyone was fighting. This lady came in and was like, none of that now. And everyone was happy and everyone got free lunch. She's just the shit. Anyway, she free kicked this guy out. He's like, fuck that fool. He sprayed shit on the wall and like had standards, you know? 
Which sounds silly because other people wouldn't have done anything. And you just got to deal with the shit bandit. But Sandy's like, you're out. And then we kicked him out. And I bring all that up because the homie that clogged the toilet, I'm not going to name him. <laughs> he was my coger. He's still my friend. I love him, even though we almost fought a few times. And he clearly would have murdered me because he's a giant boxer. <laughs> but I got, I got, I got, I got, I'm feisty, you know? <laughs> I'll run right at him and be like, this guy's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> just a self preservation. I don't, yeah, but I don't get it. It's just my dad. He's nuts. I don't know. Anyways. So we used to always get into it, and he, one of the things, Dickie Benz, the poo-poo bandit, he did comedy, oh, like shit. once or twice. Okay. And the homie, big dumb white boy, I'll name him, it's just nothing but love, he would always like say, hey, Dickie Benz is coming in, want to talk to him? I'm like, no, you don't want to talk to the homeless guy that shits on the wall. But one day, <laughs> we're going to have to bleep that part, name some bad with names and then uh so the homie that i'm not naming right now <laughs> he says hey dicky Benz, poo poo bandit craig does comedy i heard you do comedy y'all should talk oh dude that's and I such went, a faulty thing to do that's when i was like i'll kill you bro. <laughs> i'll fucking so, kill you that's so I don't faulty. Care how big you are so now every time this is before he's kicked out so the poo poo bandit's charging his phone this guy that people run from who don't want to... He shits on the walls, people. Yeah. I mean, do I need I say more? What happened no. there, Craig? What did I just say? <laughs> I turned Asian. He shits on the wall. He shits on need I say more? No. And then... Uh, I say more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then he... And now this guy's hunting me down every time. So then fast forward. Now I already kind of hate my friend. But he's my friend. I love him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But then he starts pooping in the morning before we're open. And clogs the toilet. Like repeatedly? Repeatedly. Before we're open. So we know it's not a customer. So it's one of us. One of us did it. I saw who went in there. I saw who came out. So I know who the fuck did it. And I, I'm a I'm a bit of a man of no nonsense. And I called him out. I was like, yo, motherfucker, you clogged the toilet. And I started talking shit. And he got mad and probably should have knocked me out. Because it was public in front of everyone. And God damn, like that. Oh, so you did? <laughs> yeah. You're a grown ass man. What are you clogging the toilet for? I got a shit and now I can't shit because it's clogged. I have to go in the women's restroom and sit next to a female co worker and I'm not supposed to be in there because I don't identify like that. But I could be now. But this was pre that time even. So I'm pooping in the women's restroom because you clogged the toilet and now I'm hearing my coworkers fart which is pretty funny. <laughs> I'll tell you who it was. Yeah, I heard her blow that shit out. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. Because you clogged the toilet and it happened repeatedly. So like after like the third time I snapped and I'm like, dude, you know, I have, and then I called him out and it got heated and we cussed at each other. And then managers, they had to have a sit down with us. <laughs> and he wouldn't admit to it. And I was like, who's fucking doing it, bro? Who's doing it then? <laughs> and the manager is like angry but laughing because he does have to deal with this. <laughs> and he's at me. He's like, dude, you can't accuse people of clogging the toilet. I was like, well, who did it then, Ernest? <laughs> he went in and it's not clogged. He comes out, it's clogged. <laughs> See, <laughs> I know. <laughs> who I would I would have been. See, I would have felt bad because I because I'm I would have looked at it like. Damn man, you got to shit at work so often. Like, and you know, like if you clog, if you after you clog the toilet the first time, well, I knew what he did. Do you want to know what he did? What he every did? time? What this? Well, this is fucked up. He's low. He's a little slow. He's off I'm, his rocker. We'll do it. I mean, he got hit in the head a lot. He was a boxer, you know. He's a big buff boxer, so he would clean the toilet with paper towels, and as you should, you yeah. wipe it down with alcohol, a cleansing solution, because this is. His, I'm a dirt ball motherfucker, but that bathroom, I'm alcohol wiping that bitch. <laughs> we got Dickie Ben spraying the walls. I have, you know, I got staff from that bathroom one time. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. So Where you don't were y'all? Like, what is going Hollywood, on? Hollywood, baby. Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to. So he would clean it off, and then he'd put the paper towels on top of that, on the, on the in the toilet. Yeah. And then wouldn't flush the paper towels, and then you'd poo-poo on top of that. And then he would wipe, and he wipe like like my mama. A lot of toilet paper. Yeah. A lot of 
Oh, like, no. Your booty's not even that big, bro. Oh, no, I know no. why she used a lot, a lot of booty. A lot understand. of wiping. I understand a lot <laughs> of wiping. Especially, especially at a public, I'm wiping. Yeah. I'm wiping. No, but, you can't because you got to. But there's a trash can next to the toilet. There's a trash can next to the toilet. Yeah. Where you, where you do that. Where you don't call. You know what I mean? No, so I get I've three nev- strikes. Three strikes, you're out. I got to call you out. First of all, I've never clogged up a, a public bathroom. You just flush a lot. Hey, you can you can use as much toilet paper as you want if you're flushing. Flush six times. Don't put all the toilet paper in and then flush. Okay, I've done that. I have done that. <laughs> I, I have no respect at like I'm a I'm. I'm Y'all, everybody it's, needs to get beat by their daddy. <laughs> it's, it's it's like at an airport. No, I don't. I don't. You know, well, that's different. Fuck you, Delta. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, well, that's, Delta. That's different. That's not your home. Like if I have to sh- no, no at home I'm different. It, but if I like if I'm at the airport, I don't give a fuck. Well, I'm, if also, I have to shit with my luggage, no, I'm, I don't. Care. Those airports are. <laughs> I don't care. Their plumbing is built a little different. Yeah. You could hear it go. <laughs> That toilet had to be built a little different after that. Remember, they had to revamp it because it kept fucking up so much because motherfuckers are flushing down paper towels. How many signs do we got to put up? Stop flushing paper towels and feminine products up. Your tampons <laughs> and your fucking paper towels clog the toilet. Put it in the trash can. Mexico don't even flush toilet paper down the toilet. They got little skid marks, caca paper right in the trash can. It doesn't oh. even smell that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it goes away. <laughs> Put a little rose petals on it. I just like, I mean, it doesn't even smell that bad. <laughs> there is like, a smell. Could, okay, there I'm going to be, yeah, no. <laughs> so that's what she Because if you would have like. been like, it, it doesn't even, t- <laughs> it doesn't even smell. <laughs> like, oh my God. Duh. I, oh uh, man. Dude, I, I, I'm not a work, sh- I'm not a work shitter. Work shit or where do you shit? You hold it all day? I'll fucking hold. Dude, I ride the bus. I can hold it for hours, bro. That's bad for you, man. Yeah, it's not fucking great. It's not great, but I don't like, I don't, I don't, I'm a long shitter. Like, I want that to. Well, maybe it's because you're holding it so long. No, I just it's like compacted. to go in there. I mean, you're like making, it does. You know how you smash the can and it goes <laughs> that? Oh, dude, yeah. yeah no, instead actually, of one uh, can, you got like. You know, fourteen cans. I've had one of those. I had one of those the other day where it's like, it's like, is this solid? Just like, <laughs> it's just like a, a I think I'm ball. shitting a fucking rock right now. What is like? Is my is my ass yeah. looking <laughs> like? I genuinely don't know if it's gonna make it. What is up with those hard turds oh that my cut your God. ass? What is that? Just oh. ouchie. The ones that make ouchie. it like it stings on the top part of your butt. You know what I mean? Like, what is that? Zane has a good bit, our mutual homie, where he says, he, you ever have a shit so big, you look at it and you're like, I can take a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line, That's man. That's a great line. Yeah, he's gay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's married. Oh, God. Um, Not that there's anything wrong with that. Take your dicks. Yeah, man. Do what you want. Maybe when I'm 80, if I can make it that way. No, nah, I just not in the dicks, man. They're weird looking. They're funny though. I've thought about the, you know, you see work in West Hollywood. You're like, maybe I can be gay, and then I just like hairy assholes. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, dude. Like, Ugh. Yeah, it's gross. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I'm not homophobic. I entertain the idea. Yeah, man. No, it's know. just convenience. You're like, okay, so you guys get your dick sucked every day. And there's less complaints. It's you know what I mean, like it's huh? Like, it makes you think. It do, it does. And then like, you're like, do- oh man, you ain't got tits. Well, if now, I, nowadays, see, <laughs> see tits. I need boobs. Yeah, I I need boobs. I need hips. That's my thing. I'm a hip dude. Yeah, so I need hips. I mean, like I need need those. We should go to the Philippines, get some lady dude, boys. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I'm legally blind. That was just a big ass clip to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't even know until she told <laughs> the me. The funniest shit I ever heard in my life, bro. I, I was like, know. if I can't see it, who cares? Like, you know? really? But if it's like boner up here, oh yeah, dude. If it's, it's like, like, oh man, just tape it up. Put a belt on it. If I Put feel a belt like it's on it, don't let me, me see like, it. That's too big. I'm like, oh shit. You go to reach the rubber clip. There's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in trouble again. He's sweating every time I talk about crazy stuff. It's not even that crazy. It's That's nothing but love here. We're no, fucking bitch. around. 
This ain't maliciousness. We'll get deemed. No YouTube ad money for this one. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I say I say crazy stuff all the time. Don't you get flagged all the time? No. And on YouTube, no. On TikTok, all the time. Okay. All yeah. the time. Yeah. But on, on YouTube, not. Nah. Not a ton. Like sometimes, depending. Sometimes they'll just like they'll demonetize, but they'll they'll like do it where it's like, we're not gonna demonetize. Like this is <laughs> we're gonna make this for just for the grown folk shit. It's because you're white. No, dude. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they would, uh, dude. TikTok won't let me say nigga. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not supposed to. But they let everybody else say it. Even uh, white people, you gotta be yeah, like, dude, you gotta put, you gotta put on. The, I'm white, black. <laughs> there's more white people on TikTok get say nigga than there. Like they will not let me. They they like mm. any time that I say. It's e- always trying to put the black if, man down. Even even the oh. black man, man. <laughs> they won't verify your boy. You know what I mean? These fucking cocksuckers. These motherfuckers. They hate albinos is what it is. That's what and it is. half Mexicans. Yeah, man. They hate, they hate everybody. How they know I'm a lesbian? They can't figure it. If they can't figure it out right away, they don't like it. <laughs> what is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's Rebels, too. I was talking about that with the homie and shit. Rebel what? behavior. Just not obeying and not giving a fuck and saying fuck you and your systems. Mm. Thinking outside the box. I don't know. It feels that way. I just see certain people get flagged and certain people not. And I go, well, she's a rebel. He's a rebel. He's a rebel. I say crazy things. Mm. These, I these... just, I, I don't know. I just, I, I just look. Because I, there's no, like, consistency in it. So I'm just like, eh, what it is, is what it yeah, is. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, whatever. Um yeah, I always say I'm going to change, and then I don't. <laughs> and then I still say crazy shit, and I go, oh, fuck. I don't mind. The, I say I, do, I say crazy shit all the time. I had, I've had people, like, hit me up. I made it. It was something I said um, when I was I was just, I was talking about a video that I'd seen, but I didn't wasn't mentioning the video. And I was like, yeah, there was a joke I was doing that was like, oh, man, it's the, when's the, the best time to, be happy that a baby's crying is right after you accidentally kick it, and um, it's true. Yeah, right. You it, know why? Yeah, because if it's not crying, it's dead. <laughs> well, that's a tough punchline. You <laughs> said that on stage? But no, I said that on TikTok. Oh, <laughs> and, okay, that's fine. And then. on YouTube, and then and people and like I had people like most of the people were laughing He's like, fucking, but one dude, it was just literally a riff that it was just in my head, and I just said it. And then one dude hit me up, and he was like, "I'm gonna have to unfollow you." Because uh, my my baby died and that's messed up and I was like oh I'm gonna say this on stage then. <laughs> so there's truth to this joke oh yeah no I went I because <laughs> it came because of a video there was a break dancing video in a fucking like a bus station when a dude was break dancing and a baby just runs in like across the thing and right as he's doing a flip he just kicks the shit out of the baby. <laughs> and I mean the baby goes over the air like ten feet and it's flipping, I gotta watch that. And it's flipping yeah. around and I felt and every and like I felt so bad for the dude because I was He didn't mean to. No, but like just think how I was like I was laughing way too hard, probably at that situation. But it wasn't because I was laughing at the baby fall. And I was, I was like, that dude went. There were so many people around him, like feeling what he was saying, and like they were getting, like he was dancing. He, everybody was loving it. And then he goes to do this awesome move that he knows always gets the crowd on their feet, and he, he doesn't even realize that he's kicked a baby until he's upside down and he's seeing this fucking baby just. And he's like, oh! Yeah. He, he stands and he comes back. He oh! <laughs> oh! He <can't. laughs> right? He can't do shit about it. He's just, he's mid flip with a baby, and he's like, wait, what was that that hit my foot? Oh shit! That, that wasn't a, a football. <laughs> that was a baby. And then he lands, and then the baby just thuds, and everybody is like. Nobody's moving, but I'm looking at, I'm just like this dude. And then the baby starts crying. And I'm like, oh, because if the baby hadn't started crying, like it, everybody was like, oh my God, that was crazy that that happened. It wasn't your fault. But I was like, dude, if that baby didn't start crying, it would have been a completely different situation. I saw it. He kicked the shit out of that baby. Yeah. Like, it it is the one time you like, cry, cry. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, dude, uh, I was like, woo. Remember when Jamar kicked that baby when he was a baby? <laughs> he told me that yeah. story on your podcast at the store. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the funniest shit oh ever. God, I mean, dude. he was a kid. He was like yeah, five he was years like, old. Yeah, like a long time ago. <laughs> it, I, I probably shouldn't tell the story, but it's already out there, anyways. The shit we've done to fucking like fit in. 
Yeah, he was in the hood and they told him to do something bad. Yeah. So he went and kicked this kid in the head. That's and then they're like, you're too bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was like five years old trying to hang out with 10 years old in Compton. Yeah. That's what, dude, it's what happens. At the park. The older because kids will make you somebody do Somebody picked them shit. up late, remember? Yeah. It's all bad yeah, parents. It's all bad parents. parents. Yeah, it's all bad. Look at this is what happened. It's all bad <laughs> parents. <you're laughs> We're all walking scar wounds of oh our childhood. God. I did some bad shit. I love you, Craig. <laughs> I love you. It's crazy. I punched a kid in a wheelchair once. <laughs> <laughs> did he have it coming? No, 100% not. Um, oh, that's all right. He was I defending himself, actually, against me verbally. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was teasing him, and he hit me, and so I hit him back, and he went out of the wheelchair and everything, and I got in trouble. And I, I felt, it's like, I felt, like, you ever do something and feel instantly like, oh, I'm one, like, even as a kid, I was like, I'm a piece of shit. Like, I was, it was immediate. You don't have empathy yet, and you watch America rule over the world, and you follow its footsteps, so you're like, I'm going to. Take down the little guy, Man. bully him. Oh. You saw him; he struck first. <laughs> he did after you backed him in the corner. <laughs> it really, really was that? And gave him nothing oh, else. God. Every it, to the, do but that. The worst thing was like everybody was teasing the kid. Like at camp, it was at camp, and everybody was teasing the kid. And uh, yeah, it's real fucked up. It's real fucked up. It's and then he like he hit like you remember he like finally like stood up for himself and I just it was a reaction it was one of those just like he hit me and I hit him back and then like I ran <laughs> because like, uh -oh. I, I was like oh shit you ran because he couldn't <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like hey and you rubbed it in his face even more oh, dude, I you're a so, monster I felt, podcast I'm is over terrible person <laughs> this guy's a monster I'm a mo dude it was even worse because I, I, I like ran away from like the camp but it was like in the middle of Florida in the middle of nowhere so I didn't like know where to go and by the time like so I was gone for an hour and I came back and they they found me and I went to the infirmary. He was still crying. Like an you hour. hit him that hard? Dude, no, but he was, you know. He yeah, was, yeah, he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, like I hit him. His life is hard enough. <laughs> and you made it way harder. So, way harder. <laughs> At least the only man I hit in a wheelchair was old and it Jeez. was with my car. Dude, and what it was the on fuck? accident. <laughs> it was on accident. You gotta lead with that, bro. My bad. My bad. <laughs> he was in a leg brace, a head brace, God a sling. He just got out of surgery. I was like, are you sure? Did you? Just get out the hospital. You're going right back in, oh, sir. You're going God right damn. back. My bad. How's your leg brace? Oh, Just dude. pick me up, you son of a bitch. He was cussing at me. Yeah, he was cussing at you. I like that he was so angry with me. He's like, just get away from me. And it, hey, no insurance claim here. Ow. <laughs> he doesn't do too it. Far, doesn't, too far, too like, far. I'm sorry, God. I got a lot. <laughs> I got, please. I'm so sorry. I was high, man. He's the devil. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's the, as long as you got to be able to acknowledge the fucked up shit you've done, bro. Everybody. Well, childhood's different, but people don't understand <clears throat> is we don't have empathy yet. And we're monsters and I, you just try to fit in. So you might run with some wolves and do some wolf shit. Yeah. And you ain't even a wolf, but you just, you know. You tiny guys, so you got to pull a knife, put a little extra on. Oh, dude! Otherwise, yeah. they'll get you too. I didn't even, you know? I didn't even realize, <clears throat> I didn't even realize that fucking um, because I've always like I, I've, I've always like put it <laughs> like all the shit that I've done as a kid, I feel horror, like bad, like guilt and stuff like that. And then I didn't realize that my like I actually feel it like I was the I don't I don't look at it like I was a kid. I look at it like I'm the dude I am now who did that. If that makes sense. And so that was a, we had to, I've been trying to like reprogram that. You're the dude you are now? Who yeah. Did it? Like, it's like, it's like, I'm feeling it with the empathy. I'm feeling like I did it like with right now. The, yeah. Like with the empathy and shit. Oh and so yeah, I'm yeah, feeling, yeah. I'm feeling that piece of like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck. It's yeah, kind of yeah, one yeah. of those things. Where I have like, a few things. Where I go, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yeah. like, like, oh, better save some lives. <laughs> <laughs> like Bill Burr talks about it. That thing when you're just in the shower and you just gotta, oh, just gotta, just gotta, just gotta, just gotta, oh, just gotta get it out. Uh, but no, nah, I'm doing, I'm doing that. You Simon Birch it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I do it. I think that comedy is good. Cause I don't think, I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't like, you know what I mean? Like go on stage and say, I'd be dead. Dude, jail, I'd be drug dead. Addict. I, yeah. Done. <laughs> <laughs> like how you say sober, stand up, <laughs> stand up. Oh, that, yeah. It's the best medicine. That and CBD. And heroin. Mm. Morphine, dilated <laughs> opioids. I don't like cotton. My dad was always tired on this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, your dad was a heroin addict. Yeah, crazy. heroin and cocaine. Damn, that's, I a, don't know that's which a good one. combo. He <laughs> knew his shit, man. Was that, yeah. Is that a good combo? <laughs> what I goes up must come down. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was my favorite coke. Well, I uh, to be specific, it was uh, cocaine and oxycotton and oxycotton and synthetic heroin. Oh, used, Jesus Christ! Dude. Well, yeah, nobody tells you that, and when you start, no, and, wait, no, I knew that, but uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's space it's, coke and oxy. At the same time, it's a weird thing. It's 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 nicknamed Mexican speedball, but I I I was I've said it before. I'll say it again, but like. Uh, I'm just so grateful that my finances never allowed me <laughs> to be the drug addict dude. that I aspire to be. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I'd be fucking dead. Oh, yeah. And, dude. and I and I tweeted that and I say it on stage now, but it's true. It's just true. It's kind of hard to overdose when your drugs are on layaway. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You fucking get a, you, 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 you get a raise from your boss. He's like, get that away from me, Todd. I'll fucking die. God damn it, Todd. Oh, my God. Get that uh, Christmas bonus away from me. I, when did I realize? I die, Todd. I didn't realize till like, was like 25 that my dad was like, because I remember when I was five, like he would, I remember I got a pencil stuck in my hand. <clears throat> me and my sister were playing and like she threw a pillow and I had a pencil and it got stuck in my hand. And I start screaming and running around and I'm like five and and uh, my dad was asleep and I he gets up and he like snatches the pencil out of my hand and then he like gets mad and beats the shit out of me. And I remember, but then he took me to McDonald's like right afterwards. But I remember looking, I remember being five and looking up at him and like being like, you're a weird motherfucker, dude. Well, you mess with his high, man. <laughs> but then I didn't realize he like 25. He with the man's high. <laughs> Who do you think you are? His son? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think that man is? Your father? How dare How you dare I? come to him for help? I just thought he was weird until I was like 25. I was like, oh, he was high as shit. That was what that guy did. He was on cocaine. Yeah. No. I don't uh, know. No, I think it was Aaron. Yeah. I think it was Aaron. It was both. Yeah, he. <laughs> That's why he took you to McDonald's. The I cocaine made him beat you. The, the I, heroin yeah. made me. We better get you a cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we better, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Because he did. <laughs> Damn it. That's exactly what <laughs> it was. Cocaine is aggressive. <laughs> that was the, um, I think that it was the uh, the heroin that got a hold of him worse than the cocaine. Like the cocaine. Of course, was, of course. They're both. No, like, everyone who said, don't ever do open. No, God, don't they're so ever bad, do open. Dude. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> opioids you guys don't do them because you'll be uh, I've, i have this analogy is so true like like cocaine speed will make you clean your house do fucking go fight a stranger do your dishes make the girl's conversation interesting yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up but you know what i mean <laughs> yeah I know. but heroin you'll be sitting in the couch and your house will be on fire and you'll just be like this is nice <laughs> <laughs> this is warm it's warm in here it's so cozy oh, and you'll dude. just burn and be happy and be happy really Co I... cocaine you'll be putting the fire out you'll be pissing on it coming on it you're on cocaine <laughs> <laughs> anyways it's, no it's, it's I, an aphrodisiac I, I, coke never did and I, I tried coke three times never did anything to you gotta do it more nah no that's a joke <laughs> <laughs> these people will be like he said do he more said, dude, he's, he's doing alright he's right? got greenery on his wall <laughs> no I just no. can't nah it's, too, it's not it's like I don't want to do something I mean I, my ADHD is not going to remind me to do something every 15 minutes dude it's just too, yeah. it's, here are my thoughts on drugs I think they're fun mm. until they're not fun anymore and, and I it, think it's fine to experiment with them and then get the fuck out you gotta have a net. You can't. You gotta hold on to the side of the rail, the side of the pool. You see what happens. I think How that's many, why I like weed because it's easy to just let go of the yeah, rail. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like just like ah, oh, damn it. All right, that's, that's, this must. <laughs> it's this, all I have. This, this is my stop. This. Is I've been cutting back on the weed. I've been doing a good job of it. I haven't quit yet. I've been saying I'd quit, but I. I mean, I cut it in a quarter. You know. Okay. Well, I don't have it here, and all I have is this little roach tin. And honestly, like when that disappears, I'm scared. And then, and then when you're smoking roaches, I feel like a poor fucking. Fiend, oh, you do, so don't limit, you? Yeah. Like I'll just do like two a day. You know, have I just you, can't have it here. Have you tried? To, have day. you tried to do like just the CBD? Yeah, I can't. I'm like, it's really? pussy shit. I want it all. <laughs> give me the weed. Give me the weed. No, but the CBD is actually I've been taking it to help me not smoke weed. Mm. I know it's just weed, but motherfuckers, once again, I don't have a healthy relationship with it. I'm just trying to get healthy. Nah, dude, I, and I appreciate that. it runs the show. It's so annoying. It's like, I just fucking... I, no, nah, bro, I appreciate that. But, uh, over COVID, I got... like I, I started smoking... Like I always smoke to like go to sleep and stuff, but I started like waking bacon again and shit. 
And it, it the the thing is, is when I was twenty two, I could I'm an outside like I like to smoke at home and then go out and do shit. When I was twenty two, I could just do that, but now I'm fucking older, dude. I can't. I'm just I will stay in the house and just puff. Yeah, you know what I mean, like I, and I'm like I can't do that. I just want to get. <laughs> And then my tolerance get crazy, and then I'm chasing that, and then I need it's just it's, it's smoking two blunts, and then you're like, man, I should do start, you know, getting my ed- yeah, it just I it's don't. too it's. I swear to God, motherfuckers, even the hardest core stoners that don't have a problem, even though if you're abusing anything, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. you got a problem. Look yeah. in the mirror, motherfucker. Yeah. Cupcakes. Fuck yeah, cupcakes. Oh, I like cupcakes. Yeah, ain't never taking cupcakes from me, Mr. Sprinkles. Yeah, Come here. Oh my Get God. my best friend. <laughs> oh, red velvet. Sprinkles. Hello, oh. double chocolate. Dude, they got the Hello, blueberry. Vanilla. What was the lemon blueberry one? Oh, that Papa C lemon <laughs> blueberry. Oh, man. Oh, oh better on weed. Sprinkles, oh. sponsor me. Sprinkles, oh. no, I can't. Sprinkle I can't. me, baby. I can't. Sprinkle, I can't. Because I'm, I'm afraid, dude. Like you, they'll just be showing up with cupcakes for me. Yeah. Like, I can't. Fuck. That's dude. what happened too. They give me all the weed. Oh, dude, the, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> the hippie down the way got back to me. <laughs> He'll be de- in town for you in a couple weeks. Don't let me get in the tank. Last time I saw him, I got 10 eighths. God damn it. Well, I had the money. I said, because he has like 12 varieties. And they 10 smelled good. So I bought 10 jars off Amazon. See, this is why I can't. I can't yeah, party. See. Then that whole top drawer is full of all weed. I look at the variety. God damn. That's, that's a, okay, I wasn't. I, I'm not there yet. I wasn't there. Uh, I used to smoke like an ounce every three days, but that's a lot. That's no, 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 not there. I, not anymore. I don't do that anymore. I, yeah, it was like when I was like it's just balance twenty five and shit. It's, it's hard to balance when the Illuminati's winning. <sighs> <laughs> now I'm getting busier now too, so that's part of it. Yeah, yeah, that too. You just like, I gotta go get life. We get older and we're like, oh man, it doesn't matter. Nothing's gonna stop us. But it just makes no. you go like. I better be more proactive in your youth. Yeah. I never had that. Young Bucks, if you hear if you got motivation in your youth, have at it. Good job. I was on drugs. Mm, me too. <laughs> not 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 his drugs though. I never I saw, <laughs> Poppy you, showed you, me why you, crack was bad. <laughs> pa, 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 <laughs> Your, your poppy taught you why poppy was bad. <laughs> like, that was the crazy thing. Like, I never I never wanted to do any heroin or opiates because so many of my people, like, so many of my family members are fucked up on, um, on heroin. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I never wanted to do crack because I saw, I didn't, I never saw, I saw the, the afters of crack before I saw, like, <laughs> the, the afternoon. I saw midnight crack. Before I saw afternoon you saw, crack, you saw midnight crack. Before you saw the CIA smuggle into South Central, yeah, and saw that, documented. I saw, it, I saw that. I saw before and that. She got yeah. shot and killed for her whistleblowing on that. Now there's a movie about it starring Jeremy Renner. Way before, you know wow. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So I wonder why I get uh, flagged. But then <laughs> I was introduced. I was introduced to weed with food. I think that that helped. Mm. Yeah, Abba Zabba, you my mm-hmm. only friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating oranges and oh. top ramen, sipping tropical punch Kool Aid. That sounds like a fantastic old, afternoon, bro. Watching Goonies stab my friend with a knife. Jesus real quick. Christ! Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. He scared me. He scared me. You don't scare a man cutting oranges. He's cutting oranges. I have That's, a knife and ah. That oh, whole story oh, took a left turn. Better, quick. Put a, better put a bandaid on that arm, Dane. I just saw Sorry this about little Twelve-year-old Craig. Just a little prick. Just a little. Just a little, just a little bit. Just a little t- t- poquito. Um, he startled me. I was cutting. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, I'm reactive. <laughs> he hit you first. We call that squirrely. We call yeah. that. We, we call that. We call that crazy dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get back! Get away from me! <laughs> Defend! Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because shit. <laughs> I don't. That's so <laughs> fucked up. I realize. You ever just realize something like, "Oh, I don't think that regular people grew up like that." I don't know. I genuinely could think of at least five people who have done the move. Get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> I, I know, to me, like with ice picks, uh, a, a silly straw. A homeless dude did that to me a couple days ago with his bike. Yeah. Like he picked his whole bike. Get away from me! <laughs> Childhood trauma. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> You're still mad at your dad, homeless Harry. You're still mad at your dad. Let it go. Let it go, and maybe the sidewalk won't be your pillow anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> too much? Too real? No, dude. Too I, much honestly, truth in there? I think Let that it go. Homeless, homeless people are a good, are a good way to keep yourself... Um, every time I feel like, oh man, why am I? I was sitting like that. I was like, let it go, my father, right now. Why are you sitting oh. like a bitch? Oh. <laughs> Can you sit like a man? Oh, no, Untuck bro. your nuts, son. Yeah, get your socks get your out. Nuts there. Out. You gotta, you gotta have your socks out there, like an old man too. Let let people see the socks. My yeah, Kirkland. There you go. There you go. Oh, I'm wearing Nickelodeon Kirk. socks, boy. You like all that Ninja Turtle yeah, shit? Yeah, baby, Nickelodeon. I just did. That. I should have gave you my Nickelodeon. I mean, uh, my uh, Ninja Turtle suitcase. I gave it to my what buddy's child, and he loves it. Of course he it? does. It's not your suitcase, bro. I'm wearing a Rocco's Modern Life hoodie. I bro. saved it since I was a Nino. Was, <sighs> I I had it up until like two years ago. I was like, what are you doing, Craig? No, nah, bro. Let me tell I you something. I gave it to a kid, and I regret it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. want it back. <laughs> yeah, you want it back. Dude, the greatest Benjamin, thing. you hear me? You're 13 <laughs> now. You outgrew that thing. You give, give it, it back. back. You give it back, Benjamin. <laughs> so it's funny not he yours. hears that. I'm just kidding, man. It's all yours, my I'm brother. I'm not. Give it back to Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so you can give it to me. He wants it. I nah, got a I got a little Mickey toy car. You can good. have garbage pail stickers. Good. A little Make It a Mac tonight, the moon guy on a scooter. Keep that shit, man. From Happy Man. Keep that stuff. There's I no let me tell you cupboard. something, man. The greatest thing about being an adult is like we forget how to eat cookies. You know what I mean? Like oh, as you adults. Can. I got cookie dough in the fridge. I got cookies. <laughs> that we we forget <laughs> how to eat to cookies. Got... No, no. When I say we forget how to eat cookies, I mean like we forget how to eat them. Like remember how a kid when you were a kid you ate a cookie and you were like dance a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you like you were enjoying. We don't I, do that as adults, man. I completely agree with you, but in for me you're wrong. What? Because I'd be dancing, shaking you, you, my ass. You know ass. what? Actually, I'm a big. I do. I have seen but, Greg just as yeah. happy. Ooh, I got to, sugar. I got <laughs> sugar. I carry little packets in my pocket on the road. He gets so happy. Ooh, ooh. ooh. I've, I've, seen, I've most, seen you dance for coffee. Yeah. Well, it's a sober thing because this is my little fix now. Mm. Prefer <laughs> to be hanging out with your father. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I'm real happy. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But most, most we 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 do. Most humanity, most adults forget to dance about the little shit. It's so important. The dude. little shits, and you got to man. It's so important. Cuss at your boss and <laughs> oh, dance yeah, afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Say fuck you, pussy. Every now and then you gotta get you? fired. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, like yeah. Just just yeah. just to remind yeah. yourself. The world's it's, ending. It's get okay. fired. <laughs> Like my my cousin, what wife? my cousin, what got, family? My cousin peed on his butt. Like he's that was the way he he quit his job. He, he was, peed. He peed on. He his, leveled up. Peed on him while he was like while he was at work and just peed on him. And I was like, on his back in the urinal and the stalls. I have so many questions. No, no, in they cup, were in the office. He just whipped his dick out and pissed. He was getting he was getting fired, and he was like, he just while his uh, guy's back was turned, he just pulled his dick out, and started peeing on his leg. I like that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, that's fantastic. I was, I was like, dude, that's <laughs> it's great. better than violence. And you know it's what a like, statement. Like, really? You Would didn't... you rather be assaulted or have some warm pee? At Nobody that got time, hurt. It's sterile. It's not even rancid yet. <laughs> Nobody you can got hurt. Technically, drink it. It's safe. Even if the Just... cops got called, the cops are gonna find that funny. You know what I mean? Like, they're, <laughs> yeah. not, they're gonna they're yeah, gonna yeah, drive yeah. you down the street and let you, you go. You peed on him. You peed well, on him, bro. Technically, that is assault. But... <laughs> 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 Let's go. Let me let me talk to the boys. Hilarious. Yeah. Like we're not we're not taking you to jail for that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll uh, give you a ticket. Yeah. Indecent exposure. And the fact that you were still <laughs> peeing when we showed up, fantastic. <laughs> How much water did you drink, sir? And they asked your boss, why didn't you move? <laughs> move away. I was so scared. I was frightened by the yellow <laughs> yarn. I was frightened by the yellow yarn. Yarn. By the yellow yarn. I got some notes. You Let's notes. get into them. I like how you're looking at your phone right now. It's very, it's very. Uh, that just says you can like roses and pussy. You can. You can. You can. Yeah. You can. Men are allowed to. We're allowed to like we're cute allowed. shit. Yeah. We can like cute shit. All right. Is I'm allowed to like cats. All right. They're fucking cute. They are adorable. I've been getting pedicures with my mama since 12 years old. Dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> I go to tea parties since I was five. Man, I went to. I still I got went, guns. I still got knives. You know what I'm saying? Like I went <laughs> to. Now. I got a pedicure. I got a man. What's, what's the one on the feet? Pedicure. Okay, I got a pedicure for the first time a couple years ago. And, and they manicure. It's it, for men. It was delightful. <laughs> it was delightful. It was, they scrub your feet. They oh get my rid God. of your corns, your little bunions. You got I, some bunions? I get a massage every other week. 
Yeah. You know what I'm nah, nah. Dude, I don't, I, yeah, yeah, I don't like do. candies, dude. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. They do, but like, <laughs> what are we in seventh grade? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put your mouth. <laughs> hey, can you replace <laughs> the, your hand with your mouth? Yeah, like <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for something that I am 100% sure I'm better at. 100% sure. 100% sure I'm better. I don't even have to. I I don't care. I'm so much better. You want me to pay you? Fuck you. I don't even pay for the porn. I use when I, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bang Bros is free. So free. So free. Not the long version. So. And it's on my phone, and I can use my magnifying <laughs> glass when I want to, so I can see, see. You know that? It's too short. It's, what, Bang Bros? Yeah, they give you that eight minutes. I don't. I Four I minutes of is the dancing. You know? Oh no, dude! You gotta, you gotta. I want to see the horse cock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I get mad at them. How about a regular dick every now and then? Oh, dude. Or, yeah. uh, how about just a large dick? They only use triple X. See, that's why you got you gotta go with the amateur shit. I do. I love it. Okay, me too. It's so much better. I don't want it to. I don't. I, I don't want my porn in 4K. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I don't want that. I don't want to see everything. I want to see just as much as I would see if I was in the moment, which is like half of it. Because you're not looking at, every, you can't see everything at the same time. You can either see her face or her ass. You can't see both. You know what I mean? Like I want to kind of feel like I'm there. Yeah, the overproduction changes things. It I does. still get drawn to it because you're just like, it's tits. You're like, you know. what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest ass and the biggest <laughs> dick I've ever seen. You there is still that kid, like just like, oh my god, there what? still is that part of me. Yeah. But yeah, just regular stuff. <sighs> Yeah, but now, you know, coming, like, I was, I remember being just so, like, so fucking horny as a kid. And there was, like, there were still magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh, I mean? yeah, like, yeah. There were still just magazines. And you would find one in the woods and shit. Yeah. And then you would just. We came from the same era. We used to steal uh, the newspapers um, from the newspaper stand, but there was daily, there was Two newspapers, Los Angeles Times, The Daily Breeze, and then there was the dirty one. <laughs> that was the hooker flyer, you know? It was like Craigslist, but newspaper. Like back page? Like, like old men, men seeking a uh, woman, but OG oh, newspaper style. Okay. And it was all the sex phone hotlines. Oh, the and they had all of them, dude. Because <clears throat> it was like on the front, and then you get, you know, it was all the chicks. Yeah. And then you get, and then it changed, and then it'd be like, ebony and then <sighs> thick girl it, it, it to be completely honest i remember calling it it was 1-800 fat girls i would call that one all the time oh yeah <laughs> and uh and that was a real thing don't get at me <laughs> and uh <laughs> early 90s i was right in that that, that was hey, the but... phone number and me and my buddy would go to the pay phone and put them 50 cents and just get Ooh, boners and we'd go yeah. fuck trees afterwards in yep. the park <laughs> yep and uh and in the back, they always had she males, and we're like, "Whoa!" We'd be like eight, nine years old, seeing chicks with dicks. We're like, "Where's that? What's that? What is happening?" Yeah, it was wild. It was but they f- always had that shit. Oh yeah, dude, they always had. They always had midgets. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, They too. always had that. They always had. Yeah. I never saw albinos. No? no, no. I never, I never saw albinos. No, I can't but like, say that. Yeah. Like a bunch of fat chicks. Yeah, it was wild in the newspaper, and it was like uh, it was like classifieds, but for hookers mm. in L.A. But it was illegal, you know, and all the phone numbers and. And it was, uh, you, you could only get magazines, VHS, and DVD. They used to actually, like, advertise the 1-900 numbers on TV. Yeah. Like, it was just They still t- do late at night. Do they really? Pick still up the phone. <laughs> yeah. I still remember those. Oh, my God. Uh, wild. Oh, my God. That was, that was, this shit was wild. Because you were, like, we would steal magazines from the store. we just yeah. run in, snatch and yeah, grab and shit. Yeah, snatch, get club, because oh, they yeah. show cock and pussy. Cause they all didn't do that. No, you know? no, only that sounds like, so vulgar. But you know what I mean. You do, you want a porn mag? Yeah, to be a porn Playboy, mag. Playboy was not. No, no, nobody wanted. That was art. It was art. Yeah, it was all. You wanted hustler. Airbus, yeah, you wanted a club. Filter. Yeah. Uh, what was what, there was another one? Um, penthouse. Penthouse. That penthouse, was classic. Yeah, penthouse yeah. was a classy, classy. Penthouse was like Playboy meets Come. Yeah. Yeah. It was good stuff. That was good stuff. It was good stuff. It, You're like, damn. Yeah. That labia is in HD. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's I, a camera. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's what it was back then. Any uh, old school motherfucker that whacked off to magazines and VHSs, you know what it is. Yeah, you, did you did go to the woods and you did find porn. That you, was a thing. It was a thing. And then you just you just beat it in the in the woods because yeah. you know you can't. You because there was no talk about it. Like you were just filthy with your friends, and you 
almost kind of was like, oh, I, is it just us that do? Because like, it wasn't like a thing that the no, world was saying. No, talking about so it was. It was a known thing, but it was unknown and wasn't really talked no. about. It's kind of like the mob. It was yeah. weird. It's like it exists, but it's like, hey, man. Don't be telling them about these <laughs> circle jerks in the woods now, huh? We like tits over here. <coughs> Can't be telling people we're we'll tag teaming that oak shut, tree. Over, okay? over okay. yonder. You don't say nothing, all right? We'll have to share it with the woodpeckers next. Like I told my, I told, uh, I, I said on, <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said on stage the other day. Next thing I was you, like. Next thing you know, the owls will be taking our boner <laughs> holes. That's my hole, Mr. Owl of Gahul. Fucking talking hoot hoot. Hey, you, hey, hoot hey, hoot you. That's my knot. <laughs> That's a good knot. That's a good knot. That's a good knot. That's a good knot. Out of the way. Out of the way, Theodore. What's the name of an owl? I, I like Sadie Theodore. was named after an owl. Theodore. Was after an owl? Mm-hmm. She was named after an owl? She was going to be named Elizabeth, but then her parents went and saw this owl, and it was so cute and pretty and majestic, and the owl's name was Sadie, so they changed it to Sadie. Okay. I don't and that's mind why that. I love her. Now, there you go. <laughs> because she Owls of Gahul. No, uh, that's a great movie. You should watch that also. Which, which movie? Uh... Guardians, Legends of the Legends Guardians. of the Guardians, that Owls is a, of Gahul. That, that is a good movie, actually. Phenomenal. That Phenomenal is a movie. really good movie. Mm -hmm. It's about Nazi owls. <laughs> 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 Fucking bastards, man! It is. Watch the movie. <laughs> Fucking Nazi owls. They got the lead, the leader, oh, Kanye the owl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Oh, let's talk about him. Uh, I still love his music. I don't give a fuck. Obviously, <coughs> he said some wild shit about Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, like, I feel like, I, and it, I don't condone that. <laughs> and any rhetoric, it may. Uh, it, it was just in sight. Uh, I was just, I was laughing because I was I, I shouldn't be laughing because I know what I know what it's my, funny. Like I, it's look, not funny, but it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny if you're a comedian outside looking in. You're like, oh, this shit's funny. You know, especially if you know, like, if you know what bipolar is, you, yeah, he you should take your medicine, bro. <laughs> did, you, did you see even Alex Jones was like, oh, oh, oh it's got the commercial. Ooh. This motherfucker said, Sandy Hook is fake. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck your dead children. Fuck your tears. Fuck that. And then Kanye said this. He went, oh, whoops a daisy. I'm fucking out of here, I've bro. never seen that dude stump like that, dude. He was so befuddled. He just went, oh, like, um, oh, well, damn, hey, man. Um, Normally I say the hot take. You're not going to, like, just look at like, no subtext or nothing, bro. You just going to say the words. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, look. He's like, I'm in enough trouble right now. <laughs> I don't need this shit. See, but it's, it, I feel bad because it's like, now that there's like, he's, there's no subtext. Like, I'm like, oh, this is 100% bipolar. But I kind of want it to keep going. But I'm also kind of like. It does suck. It, it sucks, sucks. Because you like, it you see, it's, sucks. he's sick and like. He's got a microphone, which is, you know, I, I I wish people were, like, trying to help him rather than just, That's like, why I brought it up before it, on this podcast. I like Dame Dash's approach. He's, like, he's mentally ill. He's like Van Gogh. Van Gogh cut his ear off, but there's no cameras back then, yeah. so you don't know what the fuck the motherfucker was saying. Yeah. Kanye and his camera. Stop putting him on camera. He's Stop not putting well. Stop putting him on fucking camera, he's dude. not <laughs> like, well. He's not good. He's not good. He's not well. That's he's going to say things that are not well. Yeah, that's what I've I've dude. My so sad. my friend was telling me my homie's uh he's uh he's bipolar and he's he he has you know he's been on medicine for his life but he was like dude when you're manic, it's not like you you're, it's not like you you rationalize everything. It's that you don't have to. He's like I went to Vegas and I spent all of my money, and then I um. I spent all of my money and then I put all of I put like uh, the nicest room at the Bellagio on a credit card and overextended myself. And it wasn't like I was like, oh, I'll be able to pay this back. I didn't even think that that was a thing. I was, it was like, I just did it. Mm. And I was like, fuck, dude. And he's like, yeah. And then you get back and you're like, oh, shit, I'm broke. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, so I feel bad. And he was like, but it's funny. And I'm like, it's, dude, it's, it's funny. It's, I'm sorry. It's funny. I, he came out, he had a sock on his head. How is that not funny? <laughs> <laughs> With holes in it, too. It had the fucking big toe hole right here. <laughs> he, was, he, was just, he was just standing there like, we gonna stop dissing my, um, um, uh, <laughs> Nazis. I'm like, oh, okay. But All right. Here's the part I don't like. Um, obviously, 
it's just scary to talk about. Obviously, what he says about Jewish people is wrong and horrible and horrific, and it's terrible if it <clears throat> incites any violence mm. or hate speech or whatever. But when I follow, I follow a lot of crazy accounts, and they point things out that do put it in perspe perspective. They're like, hmm, like why don't we con cancel, you know, like the way we're canceling Kanye, why don't we do that? with every injustice if that if it's truly like world hunger and it's just like it just it, it makes it makes me everything is so selective i'm not saying that it's not correct that we don't get rid of hate speech and anything that incites harm but it's just like why don't we do that for black people then too why don't we do that <clears throat> for Muslim people? Why don't we do that for Chinese? My, that's my point. And, and it's not even my point. You, I just heard it. And yeah. I just go, oh, yeah. Like, why don't? What, what, why don't we do what? Like, what? like how quick we are to burn Kanye for his words when there are lots of other oh, organized. There, oh, there's just saying. so much injustice with every <clears throat> single, like, uh, iPhone. Slaves making this are suicidal. They jump off and land in nets. Yeah, that's been known for years now. Yeah. Why? Why aren't we? Why? Why aren't we? Why aren't we meeting that with the same? That's what I. What somebody said that made me go, "Oh yeah." Oh, because um, I think, and again, I'm because not, they own the media. <laughs> no, nah, because here's the thing. Um, that was a joke. Oh <laughs> man, there goes my YouTube. <laughs> <account>. <laughs> There goes the revenue. I didn't say it. No, I, no it just no. It, you know what it is. I, I look at it like this. One of the things that because I, I was talk, um, I was talking to Jamar, and we, we were talking about how um, I think that a lot of people think there is this uh, cancel culture or this thing. But like they're like, I'm like, no, nah, bro. You have to understand something. <clears throat> when uh, when like our parents were growing up, they had a safe space because there wasn't anybody around that could hear them. The people that heard you were the six people that were literally in earshot of you. But you know, you got eight year olds in 2013 that a million people can hear something that they said. So it's it's a completely different thing. And then telling them to, you know, well just don't be online. They don't know how to do it. It's like telling me to not use electricity. My mom would have a better time not using electricity than I would because I grew up as it was part of my life. Just like a 20 year old grew up completely connected to the internet they have no <clears throat> they have no recollection or no they don't know what a magazine yeah, is yeah they, they don't have know no, they don't know we had to steal newspapers yeah, to whack yeah off they had no the idea emails in the back they're not stupid for not knowing <laughs> they just weren't part of that so when i tell them that they're like that seems ridiculous i can't make sense of that but i also can't make sense like i can understand how like black people weren't let into places and i've felt racism if you everybody has but i when my when my homies talk about like yeah man we were legally not allowed to go i can't you know what i mean like i can't comprehend it like they can so i think that just times are changing everything is much much better but we are very 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 connected now and aware and aware and i think that that is making like before <clears throat> like dude we watched 9 11 like happen Live kids watch that actually happen. They rolled it in in yeah. my high school. <laughs> they put it in the, the big box TV on that yeah. big square thing. Exactly. They go, hey kids, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I was high as a kite. I was like, I don't know how to process this. I don't know how to process this, but I'm gonna go get it done. <laughs> yeah, like that wasn't what happened in World War Two. So I think that just part of it is my high school was nuts. Columbine had oh, just yeah. happened. Columbine hit, mm -hmm. and then. uh 9-11 and then there was lots of bomb threats at my school it was a predominantly white school a lot of white oh, kids yeah, that, they know, did the bomb threats. So kids and then one was... kids actually made a bomb and it went off oh, and they shit. made it incorrectly and they said had it had gone off correctly like people could have died if they Seriously? were near it yeah 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 yeah. Oh, and they got fuck. arrested yeah it was wild i still went to school all those days yeah, like, like, my mom just <laughs> dropped me off <laughs> Colin Biden happened today get out of the car go so I don't want to deal with it. You're like, on Kool-Aid. You're the school, weird. Go, the go, the go, school go, shootings go. in like Florida, it was more like somebody would get shot at school, but it was like, it was usually like either some gang shit or like one dude shooting another dude. It was, it was. Mine wasn't gang shit. It was white and Asian and it was absolutely uh, crazy. This incel or just 
or maybe, I don't know, maybe drugs. It wasn't gangs, but other neighboring high school, because it's L.A. Torrance is like suburbs outskirts yeah, yeah, L.A., yeah, yeah, but it's still L.A. County. I heard it's like better now, though. Torrance is nice until you hit Western, and then that's like the dividing line oh, okay. to where the the ga- the gang starts, the segregation the segre- starts, the, the police starts, the segregation. Yeah, whatever. It's just <laughs> weird. Uh, wait, what was the point of this? So, but but Torrance is near it. But like, I remember going to high school and talking to other kids from other high schools, and even North High had slightly more gang banging just because it's near more cities with more gangs, and then like straight up. Uh, fucking wilmington losinger like all the homies that went to high school there they said they'd just straight up be gang wars race wars riots they put the school on lockdown like it was a prison their their school would go on lockdown several times a year yeah school's on lockdown right what that's crazy like my brother went to school my brother i remember i was in i was in washington he was still in florida he called me up he was like man we had to run from school today i was like why (laughs) because uh the crosstown rival football team was coming to shoot up the school and they actually did, like they actually did, like they came shoot up school, and I was like, damn, dog, because I was going at that point, I was going to a preppy white school in Washington, but it was like, it wasn't great. Yeah, like it wasn't, it wasn't great, but uh, yeah. God, that's so wild. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Just race wars in oh, high dude. school. Yeah, man, I got fucking jumped, like almost three times in one day. In fucking Washington, it wasn't even in Florida. Yeah. Just on some, they didn't like black albino peoples. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you poor know. bastard. Ah, uh-uh, man, you know what? I'm kind of taking it back. What, you got a teething toy right there? What, you got a uh, chew this, toy? This, this is my, this is my little, <laughs> this, my, it's my, uh. Your fidget my fi- spinner? My fidget spinner. Let me see my that. He's like, that's my cock ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thick cock ring. Yeah, <laughs> baby. It's not long, but it'll bang the walls out, you know? <laughs> 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 oh man, we're so stupid. Oh, we're sorry, it. ladies. It's okay. Um, look, we're I, sweethearts in our core. I love my girlfriend. So. Yeah, you got. Yeah, that's good. You got a lady now. I do. Yeah, man. She good. She good people. She uh, <laughs> she's a she's a comic, but it's like, I do. I think I think it's it's funny to me like how comics get like you know comics date comics sometimes, or at least date people who are familiar with the industry. I've done it a few times. It can be extremely beneficial. Yeah, it, it's it's got a, it, everything's got its ups and downs. It's awesome because they understand the, yeah. the ups and downs of this horrible business we're in. And you can talk about anything. That's the yeah, thing. That's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the good thing. How fucked up is this business, though? dude? This it's cra- like it's so fucking insane. It's crazy because you got to do ev- you, not only do you have to do everything yourself, you're expected to. You know what I mean? You're expected like, to do, and not only can you be kind, funny, hilarious, and killing it on every facet, way, shape, and form. Uh, some people will still treat you like a doormat. Yeah, and you're just yeah. like, you. It will. I think the crazy thing about it is, it is the great. It is the equalizer because a comic that's been doing it for three years and a comic that's been doing it for twelve years are treated the same by the crowd. Yeah, that, that three year old. Comic, I'm not talking about the crowd. That's a, no, but what I'm yeah. saying, but what I'm talking yeah, about yeah, is yeah. like you're treated the same by the industry. Even the industry will give just as much attention to the to the three year as they will it depends on who's funny like who you know what i mean like i cream really does rise to the top here but man being in that bowl is a bitch i think cream i think cream always rises to the top but here i think new york is more cream look at all the comics that are absolutely hilarious that are good dudes good good human beings and then they move to new york and then they get everything why I think the difference the difference in New York is they respect funny and not credits. Well, shit, I have credits. They don't respect credits out here. What they respect, what they, what they do, what I've started to realize out here though is Jamar goes to New York. Like I'm going to New York uh, in in April probably just for like a month just to because I think you can get so much comedy out there. You can get so much done, but you can get seen by so many people who are not industry people. So that that makes it because here you're trying so hard to be seen you're you're trying so hard to be seen and in new york you have to be good and that, so it's like when you use the both if you use new york and la the right because like in la in new york they're very very polished in la they're very very creative but if you can meld those two yeah, together yeah, yeah. it's like it's 
it's perfect. It's what happens. And then you get Bill Burr. You know what I mean? Like you get yeah <clears throat> those people who can who can cross those borders, and it's just simple for them. Yeah. And that's what yeah, I, he I did, love though. New York. He did both. He I started love. out here and then moved over there. Well, he started in Boston. I just yeah. remember him making fun of Jamie Masada on the <laughs> Laugh Factory podcast. It's the funniest <laughs> shit I ever saw. He's like, I moved to New York because of you. <laughs> you fucking don't know comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like trashing him and his house on his podcast. I was like, <laughs> 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 hell yeah. Uh, that's because he can because of the shit that he put him through. The insanity. Yeah. yeah. He said he waited outside in the sun for that fucking open mic. Did the open mic, killed it. You said no. And he's like, fuck you. I moved to New York then. And he moved to New York. That's awesome. That Yeah. That's, I haven't been back to the Laugh Factory since uh, 2013, maybe. It's so funny. It's not, no no hate. It's just like, I'm not I'm not going to stand in line to do the fucking open mic. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Nah, we're not doing that, dude. No, it's just how it is. That's it's why I say. That's why I say this business is crazy. But you're killing it, bro. But also, we're th- killing it. But think about this: <laughs> what other business could you be this much of yourself? Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can't, man. You can't. That's why dude. it's good to be your own boss. Oh, it's so like, good. If you don't want to do that man's pool, you'd be like, fuck you. I'm going to piss on you. I'm going to piss, piss on you. I fire myself you. and I decided to piss on you. Uh, yeah. I, I like gained so much respect for my cousin after that. He told me, and I was like, that's awesome. Dude. That is awesome. I've, I've always wanted. There's some bosses that I would have. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve a little pee pee. Oh, God. Sometimes the bosses deserve to pee on the, the fire E. They're so bad. True, true. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. But, dude, I had a boss once call me a wigger. Was he black? No. Mm. On the clock, and we had just met, I was, like, there was another black dude there. And I've heard that before and shit like that. But uh, we don't know each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. No, like, we, like That's when you got to assault someone. Yeah, and I was, and I was like, and I've, I've heard that before, but I was also like, yeah, I fucking need, I had just moved to L.A., and I was like, I need this job. You should have pushed the, him. The other, he was. Nah, he was. <laughs> He's a big man. He was like, you should have looked at your black brother, and be like, "Hey, help me!" Oh Come no, the, the dude, the dude, the dude, something. the black dude was like, he had to go outside, and he, I came out, and I was like, "You good?" And he was like, "The fuck, dog!" I was like, "Oh, bro, it's cool." He's like, "Man, why are you fucking dealing with that?" I was like, "Because I need this fucking job right now." Um, but then, uh, I think that dude's dead now. That's what he the, gets. The man, God yeah, I think he's dead him. Now, so fuck him. You know what, That's what I mean? you like, get for being he little. Ended, he ended up getting fired. He ended up getting fired, and I could have helped him, and I didn't, and I felt like. <laughs> you helped his suicide? No, no, no. He could have. He got fired, you, I and know, I could have. You could have helped him, right? Yeah, I could have helped him keep his job. Yeah, but you did it, and yeah. then he lost his job. He lost everything. Yeah. Now he's dead. Who won now? You know, he's yeah. Won. Who's? We're <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna edit that. We can still live in. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> We still living. Ah uh, ha ha. My feet still work. You know what I mean? Like, oh man. Yeah, fuck that dude. Mm-hmm. The only other note I have isn't that good. I was reading it. But it is true. Hmm. Just running into people you haven't seen in 10, 20 years. And even most of the time it's good vibes. Uh but it's just like I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. It, it, it's funny, like I was talking with Sadie uh, my lady about the etiquette in that. And like it's like, yes, I love you, but yes, we haven't seen each other 10, 15 years. Let's just give each other a hug and walk on by. Or like, I like the walk on bys. Mm. Hey, good to see you. Nice to see you. All right. See you. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with that. I've, I've gotten a people. Some people have like recently. <laughs> I feel bad about this, but like there's people that hit me up that we were like cool, like you said, like 20 years ago. And I'm like, I, I, I don't. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like no disrespect to them, but I'm like, <clears throat> where we weren't that good of, you know what I mean? Yeah, like we no, I know what you mean. We weren't Atmosphere that. has a song slug. He raps about it. And I forgot what the name of it is, but I remember him talking about it and it is, it's weird. Of course I got a few homies that are family. Oh, for sure. For That's sure. For not, sure. We're for not sure. talking about them. That's yeah, no. nothing but love. There's cats that you're not talking to, but it's not because you don't want to. It's just because like, yeah, that's life. Yeah. That's life. Those are my favorite people. Two, five, ten years ago by, and they're still family. <laughs> yeah, like you're oh, family. Yeah, like, no yeah, matter dude. what, you pop. Hey, you know what I mean? Like that's that's totally different. But like people that you were like, you fell out of contact. Yeah, with. just just cause of life. No bad blood, no nothing. No. You just were friends slightly, and now you're not, and that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We don't need to shoot the shit forty five minutes at Trader Joe's. 
Also, I don't like. I don't like like the, I don't like being hijacked. No, I don't like be, being made feel like. Oh, you have we, we were this before, so we have to be this. No, we don't. You don't have. You don't have to. I could. Like I went. Uh, I went home uh, to visit my to visit my mom like a couple of years ago, and the homie picked me up, and he was like, he was like, yo, we gonna go to this party, and I was like, I think I'm gonna just go home, and he's like, nah, man, we come to this party. I was like, all right, I'll go to this party, and he's like, don't even trip. I got the strap on me. I was like. The let's fuck? go home <laughs> let's go I'm like, home i'm like bro i am 42 years old dog i'm not i don't there's no I'm need visiting for... my mama <laughs> like, like well, he Keep was like the oh strap to... let me see it oh that's nice <laughs> that's nice all right now put it away put it away no, put, put it, it away. away but he was like man you changed i was like of course i fucking yeah. changed dude you haven't <laughs> that's <Bro>. the problem <laughs> that is the problem <laughs> Trying to heal and go up, you got a strap, but like, also bro, I respect. That. I respect. Like, I respect look, that. I'm not mad. Like, you go do your life. You, you go do your thing, but I don't want to go to a party with gangbangers. I mean, I remember unless what? there's some no, but no. <laughs> <laughs> some girls. You know, I mean, like I did a show for a bunch of bloods. I didn't know, like two years into comedy. Oh wow! Yeah, that was scary. Were they a good audience? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but like. They would audience like they would they, like you know you know that do you know the noise do you know the <laughs> you know the sound of a fight maybe about to happen mm-hmm. yeah but you can't see where it is but you can just hear it it was like ten times that happened like ten times in my fifteen minute set and so it was just like it was nerve wracking because I can't, I fucking I'm in a room like if they I'm dead first I forgot you know? I did do a show in front of some gangsters Woo! I talked about it on George the homie George Perez's podcast I'll talk about it here oh, I love George wait share your story Is so that- it was just yeah it was just like they were they were intense and I didn't know that they were gang like I didn't know that they were bloods when I they they saw me in a show. And they were like, man, come do our spot. We're going to do this like little picnic get together. And I was like, oh, yeah, man, I'll do it. And they're like, yeah, we'll pay you a little bit of money. And I was like, for sure. And I did it. And I wasn't the only comic there, but like they were just getting like rowdy. Like, what you motherfucker. Like you'd be doing a joke and half the crowd's laughing. And then all of a sudden you'd hear in the corner, y'all motherfuckers want to do it then? Do it then. And like, like, hey, yeah, you guys <laughs> like. Funny thing about uh, <laughs> fucking uh, <laughs> Uber. Uh, like, <laughs> fuck you. Know, please don't kill me. <laughs> I was so scared. I was, I was just like, ah, just don't. Darius Bennett was on stage when that fool pulled the gun and Mike Tyson hugged him recently. That's, that's, I, I, that's, that made TMZ. That was crazy. I didn't see it. I, I fucking heard it, though. That was an insane story. I haven't done too many shows for too many gangster crowds. It's just not really, doesn't really happen that much. But that was that one, the, the Moose Lodge show in Torrance. Did I ever tell this story? I don't think so. Dude, so my dad been bugging me to do the show at the damn Moose Lodge in Torrance near Western. That's mm. where it starts. That's where it starts. <laughs> a, and, that's uh, the cutoff. <laughs> and uh, and I didn't, I didn't want to do it, didn't want to do it because I knew it's the Moose Lodge. It's like comedy's good at comedy clubs. It's not going to be good at a dive bar where beer is one dollar and fifty cents, Oof. and no one has ever been to a comedy show before. That's <laughs> oh not my it. God, nobody dude. knows. Nobody, it's not their fault. They just don't go to comedy shows. Anyways, I finally succumbed. I was like, all right, let's fucking do it. We do. We sell that banquet hall out. It was like fifty fifty. It was a fundraiser for them, fundraiser for me, and uh, had dope comics on. Had the homie. Uh, Ron Taylor, Jesus okay. Trejo, Michael oh. Anochi. Oh, shit. At that same show, someone had a stroke, a diabetic stroke in the back right corner. The fuck? And they had to take him out during the show while Ron's on stage. Oh. But they didn't want to show the end, so they just told everyone to be real quiet. So they told the paramedics, you should be quiet. Wait, they, were, they didn't stop? No. Ron's killing with... <laughs> 70% of the room. <laughs> Only this back corner. I'm like, and I, it was so gnarly. I wanted to document it, but poor guy's all twitching on the floor. Oh, like, shit. Like, I was like, I want to put you on blast oh, like that. Wait, oh, wait. I have my. the video somewhere, but I never shared it because that's just rude. I don't, <laughs> don't want to be, I hate the people that do shit like that. So I'm like, I can't do it. But I was like, this is entertaining. <laughs> He's killing. He's dying. <laughs> crazy, oh, right? God. Crazy. That's crazy. And I the show is still going. It. Yeah. Oh, Ron dude. didn't even know. They kept it all quiet. Everyone kept quiet. Like even his lady, like, no, nah, he'll be fine. I think he's just having a diabetic coma stroke or something. That's you not know? fine. No, it's not good. But it wasn't like stroke, stroke. You know. So they just gave him some insulin. They got him back. But the paramedics came in all hot. That's not even the crazy part. That is the crazy part. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. So there's some gangsters there, but they are like I would say retired, like OG gangsters, kind of. You know, have warehouse jobs, no but they're but still they, acting. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're gangsters too. 
and I know him. I used to, I used to, uh, one of the fools, I, his mama used to babysit me in, uh, I don't even know the gang areas. It was, I believe it's, I don't know. I could very, I believe they're from T flats, but also very nearby is 204th street. See this, I don't know who's who, I don't know what's what, but I know their rivalries. And so one of the gangs is in the house. I believe T flats is in the house. And then one of the older dudes who's not a gangster and he, but he, he, he's, he knows of, you know, he's a Mexican he fool. He knows of the world. This yeah. is all Mexican gangster shit. And he comes up to me, he goes, hey, when you get up there, give a shout out to 204th Street. The crowd will go nuts. Oh, shit. No. So I, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, thank you. Because they, if it's their gang, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I get up there. First words out of my mouth are, hey, let's give a shout out to the rival gang. I shout out the rival gang. Oh. And then all the gangsters get weird on me and they start going like this. But I'm a, I'm kind of a pit bull too, especially on stage. You can't show no fear. I'm like, what are you guys getting fucking mad about? I shouted out your gang. They go, there you go, starting trouble. And I was like, I didn't get it. And then of course, I think my sister told me like, she's like, why do you say that? She's she knows the systems more than me. And then she's like, you know, you shouted out the rival gang. And I was like, fucking Marty. Told me to do that. <laughs> and then I've been wanting to knock that fool out ever since because I had a tough set. I got him, but it took a lot. And I was like, why are they all mad at me? Oh, my God. See, <laughs> I'm no. literally pandering. I'm catering to you. But I was fed false information See, by this guy that thinks he's a fucking comedian. He thinks it's going to be funny. But really, he ruins my set, ruins the show. Could have got and you And I might up. have to get in a knife fight with 18 gangsters. You know I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm and it's not. all because of false information and i was just trying to do good i was trying to be like hey give it up for your gang yeah in the house see that's why like, he set me up he set you up that was fucking i nah, see nah nah see that mother I, fucker, nah. dude see, i'm no it wasn't who was it it was it was it wasn't i always say more it was this full gordon gordon nah gordon it's gordon gordon, gordon, gordon you, trying gordon, to start gordon, shit gordon. I'm, we're not nah we're not gordon hell i'm not shouting nobody because i'm gonna go up there i'm gonna gordon. let y'all know straight up i am not banging um i'm not shouting nobody out i'm not i'm I not tried to do the right well, thing i the tried right thing, well, i would have went up tried. there and i'd have been like somebody just came to me and told me to shout out somebody's street i'm gonna let y'all know I don't bang. I don't wear. I, I look. I have an earring. Okay. I'm not doing none of that bullshit. We're not doing none of that. I wear. Uh, I have. I, 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 have, roll, Nic I have Nickelodeon <laughs> socks on. Okay. Right. Now. Like I'm not in any You're like, way. I'm albino. I yeah. roll with the Aryans and yeah. the Black Gorilla Mafia. I'm if you, I'm, that is I'm the a, name of the prison gang. I didn't make that up. Don't get it. He shook his head at me. Which, 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 I which, said Black Gorilla Mafia. Black Gorilla Mafia. That's oh, what that it's is, called. That right? is that. That is. Okay, that you just mafia. scared me because I was like, "It's not <laughs> what it's called." No, no, that's. Edit. <laughs> Edit. Greg, I never knew. No, yeah, that not. I believe that's what their prison gang BMF, is called, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. BMF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's uh. But yeah, no, man. I'm like, and fam we used to do the family room all the time. What's the Mexican one called? La M. A. La M. A. Uh, oh yeah, La M. A. Fucking. Because the Mexican mafia is so crazy because a lot of Mexican gangs don't get along. No. And they kill each other all the time. Like, what is the MSD attorneys El Salvador, too? Right? Yeah. And the, yeah. But as soon as they get locked up, they form a legion. And so if you're North, it's like North Teno and Sudeño. Um, so the, all of a sudden, these enemies have to link up. Isn't that crazy? That's fucking crazy, man. I, like, yeah, you kill my brother, but in here, we're brothers. I'm like, nah, oh, I don't man. See, that's How about I, we just go garden? Like, for real. <laughs> How about we go wanna, garden and go surfing? I don't want to go to jail. Like, that's what me, me and Jamar were going to. Um, we were doing this. Uh, he wanted to He wanted to go to this, like, he had, a, like, this meta thing where you, I don't know, it was this weird thing. But he was like, yo, you want to go do this cool shit with me? I was like, hell yeah. So we're driving down the street and he had got a call from like one of his friends recently from jail. And he's like, man, I ain't never going to jail. And I was like, what? And he was like, I'm eating an ice cream sandwich, driving to some dope shit, wearing a fucking mohawk. I ain't going to goddamn jail. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, man, he's like, man, you know, you can't get a, I can have an ice cream sandwich, whatever the fuck I want, man. <laughs> right now in jail, you get it. What? Every other Thursday. Yeah. Like, no, man, fuck that. And I'm, yeah, no. Nah. That shit's wild. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd make it, dude. I went to juvie for a month, and that sucked. That's a long time. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time. Assault I wouldn't on a police make officer, it, but, but I, I don't know. I'm a survivor. But we ain't going there. We hell don't no, do no crime. Hell, hell no. I mean, we don't get caught. I was a bad shoplifter as a kid. I wasn't good at it. 
I was a good distraction, but I, I didn't know I didn't know who could see me because I couldn't see them, so I wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> um, I was oh. trying to finish all the story. Oh, that I remember the whole point. All of this. So it was the. What had happened was I was out to eat with my lady and uh, I saw a homegirl I went to high school with and, and, and no no bad blood, it's sweetheart. I, I like her, she likes me. We graduated, we went on, she has a family. She saw me and looked away and then I saw her and looked away and we both did the look away and we didn't have to stop and do that awkward, like how's your last 15 years been, you know? That's good. And I loved her for it. <laughs> I wanted to thank her. I wanted to be like, thank you for looking away. <laughs> and we both just went about our lives. You acknowledged each other and then you, you moved it on. Was. It, it was. It was a story. No, we didn't even acknowledge each other. We went, oh, shit, I don't want to do this. And then I went, oh, shit, I don't want to do this. I was like, we both just did the but, same thing but I and bet, we avoided it. I bet she went home and was like, you know who I saw today? And I did the same thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's all you wanted from yeah. that situation. That's all you really wanted. She was cute then. She cute now. There you go. <laughs> no. That's what, that's what um, is, huh? Yeah, that's all. There's still, still some girls from high school that I'm mad that they didn't have sex with me, though. Um, I also never asked, but still. like They should have <laughs> <they> known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many. They should have known, man. They should have known that there's I so wanted them. There's so many cute girls we had crush on in oh, high school. Like God. Every class is like four to eight of them. Yeah. All of them. There's some. Oh my god! Yeah. Mm. Sorry, um, I was thinking about. I was there's there's a couple of them, and there's some that I'm like, even I don't even care. There's some of them that I'm like, I don't even care what they look like now. I just want to do it. You know what I mean? Like just to. I know what you mean. I had uh, one chance. This one girl was dating my crazy friend. He's in and out of prison, so I didn't want to date her mm. when in high school. So I, was like, hey, mm, I don't yeah. want. <laughs> that guy's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he stabbed people before for real. Oh, dude, Anyways. no, you don't. Wait, no. no Motherfuckers that anyway. stab people are crazy. That's a special breed of crazy. Yeah. I get, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just I guess a, he did something bad and he, they were going to rat on him, so he went and stabbed their boyfriend. And he said, Keep your mouth shut. Jesus Christ. No, dude. God damn. And they did, but he ended up going to prison <laughs> at a later time. Because he, he's, he's crazy. <laughs> because he's crazy. He's willing to stab <laughs> anyway, people. So, uh, yeah. I was like, Why are you telling me this? He's like, I'll come to your show, bro. I'm like, No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> he was friends. He was best friends with my other homie where I just touched all his guns in the last episode with Eric Friedman. <laughs> They were, that, they, were, they were that. They were that. Anyway, what Whoa. the fuck was I talking about? No, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, uh, the girl, the lady, uh, the guy. Oh, so he, his, his lady in high school, she was hot. She had a big booty. Big old booty. So I always was crush on her. And then I ran into her at, uh, at, the, at the Walgreens. She was a pharmacist now. This is when I had uh, the, the oak, poison oak, all <laughs> over my body. So I'm getting ointment from my rash. On my nuts, face, thighs, arms, Why legs. Why is it on your nuts? As I took a hot bath. When you get poison oak or poison ivy, it's oil. And you're supposed to rinse it off with cold water uh, and get rid of it. Because what I did was I took a hot bath and it opens oh, up your pores and it went in and my it, system. Oh, dude. So at the points of contact, it was extreme. But I had little... Uh, oh, I just vomited in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of my body, I, uh, had a, <laughs> I love getting old, bro. <laughs> you just, you just walk I through just it. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <sighs> and so I had little, like almost like a little chicken pox outbreak, but poison oak. Yeah. So I was getting ointment. You know, if I was a comedian and had my own house in Inglewood at that time, I was like, "Hey, what's up, girl?" And I got her number. And I tried to hit on her, but I had a rash all over my body. Oh, and she was like, nah, man. Look, I'm going to be Nah, up. bro. And I never got it. I was like, oh, that is, that if is, only I didn't have the rash. I do not have the confidence to holler at a chick with a rash. Like, that is extra. <laughs> What's the that's, harm? No, What's dude. What's going to hurt? Bro, Help bruh. me rub ointment on my I have always, I got a rash. I have always Come on, respected. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I have always respected. Craig, your, your your ability to just fuck it and just I don't like I genuinely there's I don't think you get how many people don't have that. You're going to die someday. <laughs> so hit on the girl politely, like a gentleman. 
with a rash, rash like, on your with ass. A rash. I mean, just do it's it. okay. God damn it, it's okay, people. Politely, <laughs> in a not men, especially men, you're all are crazy. In a non-threatening, polite, gentle way, approach and inquire. It's not harassment if you inquire one time. Also, that, ladies, it's not. Also, her, with, one time, you're, hey, how are you? Would you like go a date on me? With a, no, <laughs> on me. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that <laughs> that might come across. <laughs> 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 that's gonna especially if you got a rash Woo! too like this day goes the way i wanted it to go you're gonna be on me no but it's po- politely and then and then if they say no then you politely say oh get the fuck out <laughs> it's not rocket science y'all <laughs> hey would you like going no okay bye bye now now nah, my move is fucking usually, guys it's uh, so weird they my keep move, coming oh shit. dude no my move is hey dude well who's your favorite ninja turtle yeah yeah because dude i'm i i don't get i don't know what i'm being flirted with but I'm also not good at it. And so I'm always fucking worried that they're going to be like, oh, I'm albino. So I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. This is me. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? If she says what? I'm just like, D- mm-hmm. you know, I'm just like, never mind. But if it's like, um, I don't know, Michelangelo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, then it's a Mine conversation. Mine is, do you trust the government? Jesus Christ. That is going in hot. <laughs> no? <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> Come this way, little lady. That is going in. We have a bright future ahead of you. How many guns do you Flaming right there. God damn <laughs> 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 Funny till they knock on your door. <laughs> Look to the east, that is our future. What's your opinion on Nazis? You know, just that's the first date question. That's the first date question, man. They're bad people. Yeah, I feel like They're bad people. Hell of engineers though. Oh god, man. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> Have you seen their rockets? Look, they were efficient. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best Norm McDonald bit I've ever seen oh, in my, my god. life. He's oh dude, my god. He goes so fucking funny, dude. He's like, have you heard of this country called Germany? They went to war with the world. And they almost won. <laughs> and then, 30 years later, they did it again. <laughs> <laughs> and they almost won again. And you're just like, <laughs> you're like, Jesus Christ, what are these people? <laughs> Fucking lunatics, huh? Are you, anyways. If you're not willing to, like, just, like, you... A motherfucker willing to just gas motherfuckers like that's, that's we do it all the time in different facets yeah but we that's the thing dirty we do bombs it, and we Yemen. do it we do it in different facets he was like in like he was like this is what we're doing <laughs> like he wasn't trying to hide well, actually it. they said that he hit it until it was too late and then it was yeah, yeah he, he hit that's why it was, was like a dirty secret. he was that's doing it and i like, learned through history yeah. i mean everyone knew but they didn't know until it was their time yeah, like he did. He was doing it on mass. They didn't know that he was doing it on mass until like it was more just like where'd that family go? <laughs> Dude, it's so fucked up. That's so, it's so fucked, fucked up. up. Just like there's you're... genocides happening all over this world oh, right yeah. now. It's oh yeah, so horrible. And there's do... genocides happening in countries that we gave freedom. Oh yeah, and but here's the here's what I think is good. I think that what's happening. Um, and I'm not necessarily always an optimist, but I, what I do think is good is because one of the things that we get to do is travel. So we get to talk to all these fucking different types of people. And I think that one of the things is good is people are starting and not just like in America, but people are starting to like separate government and population. So somebody hates America. They don't hate Americans. Somebody hates yeah. Qatar. They don't hate Qatarians. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. people are starting to talk about the government as it's as, never as the different. people. Yeah, but we used to treat it like it was, yeah. and I think that we're doing that much less, le- much less now. And I think it's partially social media that you can be like, oh wait, because I think, dude, as fucked up as it is, I think video games had a big thing to do with it because it gave fucking geeks like me people to talk to because we didn't have it. You know what I mean? Like we go, oh. You you just like comic books and fucking Beast from X Men too? Like let's yeah. fucking, you know what I mean? Like and so, I think that's a strong it's, character. Unfortunately, he's a strong guy. He's a strong guy. He's a big strong beast. I fucking liked Ice. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just I just liked that he could grab shit with his feet. Yeah, he could hang upside down. Yeah, dude, and he was blue. Kelsey Grammer gave a hell of. A oh, blood. Kelsey good Grammer job. did that good fucking job, so Kelsey. good. And the young buck that did him in the X class. Oh, he was. I, I liked Kelsey. Good. Oh, Kelsey is definitely yeah. better. But he he did a he did good, good job. He, did good. he was a good job as a young beast. Yeah, it was believable. It was believable. I just I like Kelsey. I thought Kelsey. Yeah, yeah he nailed he it. Nailed that shit. Hell, it was so good. Oh, coke and alcohol. Dude, did you remember Kel- <laughs> Kelsey? Kelsey's be coked, bro. Up. I remember him doing some. I don't remember what it was, but it was a show, and it was just 
him and Madonna and Dennis Rodman, and they were at like a tea party outside, and they they all looked just twat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. that's what Just, I mean. My drug use, oh, you know what I mean. That, imagine that. Imagine that. John the, the, Frazier that has more Emmys than Seinfeld. Yeah, and you're with Madonna who has more fucking Grammys than and Tupac. Dennis Robin who has three Shame on you, a Grammy world Academy. championship. No, and you're just outside. Good. They're being filmed, and they weren't doing any drugs on camera, but they're all so. Oh, they got they got, uh, they got like, a little cross. Kelsey has this, in it right there, bro. Like Kelsey had this fucking like. A wife beater on like it was it was like, like dude it was gnarly and i don't remember what it was but it was like i think it was something for mtv and the video was all grainy. that picture of mike tyson with the powder remember that one picture oh was one of him God. like the and his <laughs> shit's caked up dude. and i'm like that's just cocaine mike was a set he once told a reporter i'll eat your children like who the, He's the fuck best. remember when that one uh interview they were doing his broadway show and the guy brought it up uh, how is it uh touring <laughs> that you're convicted uh convicted rapist and then then the Mar- mike just he's like he just goes nuts he goes you're he, he just he tries to spin his show like yeah I'm doing the show as I'm real excited about it, but this guy's a piece of shit pussy oh over my here God. and the guy's like oh Mike and he's like well he brought it up what the fuck are you talking about that for and then the interview just changes and the guy's just so scared it dude he I've met, he used to hang out at the uh, across the street from the comedy store all the time in the cigar shop yeah and I've met him a couple times and talked to I him I met him once or twice super super nice guy but there is that. If it's almost like I don't know that if he got to whooping somebody, he'd stop. You know what I mean? Like it's, but it's he's he's such a nice. He's a gentle giant. He's a gentle. He's, a, he's, he's a just gentle constantly giant. being tested because yeah. everyone wants to be the guy that everybody. Yeah, pokes and it's the like bear. why are, stop poking the goddamn bear? That bear eats people. Stop. He's you know like what on I mean? the plane <laughs> that fool found out. He kept poking. Them. Stop poking. Why poke that bear? I hope that judge makes the. <clears throat> guy that got knocked out pay for uh, everything me too. me too you I'll pay vote. for your own hospital you pay for mike tyson's knuckle bill yeah you pay for- <laughs> broke his knuckle on your mouth Ooh. pay for his knuckle God. bitch and also you people don't understand if shit. mike wa- mike could have literally like literally killed that dude with one hit like if he really wanted yeah, yeah. to like if he really wanted to just he hit just him wanted, as he just wanted to sprawl he just wanted a training partner and honestly on a plane <laughs> if he wanted to continue hitting him who's gonna stop him yeah. Like who's gonna who's gonna <laughs> look if I see Mike Tyson beating the shit out of somebody, I'm not stopping. Okay, I'm just I don't want that energy to get turned towards me. I really don't. Cause you gonna see the bitch come out quick in me. Get him! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a bino. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Mama. It's not gonna happen, dude. Damn. <laughs> Start calling out everybody. Dicky Bears, <laughs> help me. Ray, Ray, I don't even know you. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> oh, no, 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 thank you. I've, right. been, I've been hit too hard in my life. Uh, yeah. I got one final question. Mm. How long have we been rolling there? Hour and a half. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Um,. You told me the best poo poo story I've ever heard in my life when you pooped on stage. <laughs> oh God, that was such that a was bad a great day. That was story. A, <laughs> that was a bad day. You finished your set, man. It was a bad. Well, I'm. To be fair, I also just, I didn't know what, to, what else to do. Yeah, fair enough. It was so much <laughs> shit, dude. It, it was, smells up here. It was so bad. <laughs> but if I move, it leaks. It was, everywhere. dude. <laughs> it was in my socks already. Oh, <laughs> that's was, the worst. And I was like. If I move, it's more is gonna spill out, and I was like, I, I just, I just don't want to shit again. You know what I mean? Like that's all I was like, please don't move. And I, I was like, if I move, like they're gonna see the back of my pants, and I don't know how much. You and Joe Maurice have the best poop stories I've ever heard, <sighs> but do you have another one, perhaps? Another poop story? Um, yeah, yeah, actually, of course you do. Um, that's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You do. <coughs> All right, this was, t- I had. I don't know what I had. I don't get sick that often, but when I do, it's bad. Um, and I remember getting sick, and usually when I get sick, it's just coughing. It's very rarely do I get, like, I throw up and stuff like that. The one time was the time that I had the food poisoning, that's when I shit myself. The other time, I don't know what the fuck I had, but 
I remember going to sleep and just feeling like my stomach hurt. And I kept like, I kept milk farting. You know what I mean? Like those farts that like the bubbly ones. Yeah. It's weird. I didn't know what you're talking about. And then I knew. What yeah. you're talking about. They're almost like a brewer. Yeah. Like, it's, mm. it's a. You're like, uh, what are you a turd? You a fart? You, you don't shark? really what know. Are, what you're not going to you? know. But then when it comes out, it's like, oh, I knew what you were. Yeah. Um, you're a heat seeking missile. Yeah. <laughs> And so I went to bed and I remember like getting comfortable and like feeling like shit and not feeling good. You're silent, but violent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so much better than silent, but deadly silent, but violent, dude. That's so much better. That's why have we not been using that? Dude, that's so much Ooh, better. SBDs. Sil oh. SBDs. Oh my God. It's the way our government commits genocide all over the world. Silent, but violent, baby. <laughs> Just walk in a room, crop dusting. Crop. Uh, just like uh, so, but yeah. So I went to sleep, and I remember. I remember the last thing I remember, and I was so sick that I fell asleep with my light on, and so I was like, I was, and I fell asleep like on my side, like in a fetal position, mm. and I was, and I don't normally sleep like that, and I slept in my boxers, and I, but I, but the, it was like the middle of the summer. Boxers so the, the worst of shit. No oh, containment. Dude, yeah, no, no diaper, containment. Loose legged. Loose. Loose. Oh god. And so, and no so it was hot. It was like the summer, and I remember just waking up, and it. Stopped. Dunk. And I was like, what the fuck? You're like, I don't but, have a dog. But I felt okay. Why does it smell like shit in here? <laughs> it smelled so bad. And I turned and I looked over. I turned like, I didn't move my body, but I like kind of le like <laughs> leaned back. And there's just a huge <laughs> puddle of just brown water just sitting. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting. Hope on you it. have a mattress protector. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> just... Sitting on my. Did like, you happen I'm, to wrap your oh, mattress in saran oh wrap? Oh my god! There was so much, bro. I like I didn't like the first thought that I had was, how did I not notice that I did that? Do you have a warranty on your mattress? It, no, oh no, no, not no, anymore. Because no. here's the thing. It was so much that it. Oh, sorry. That's my. Oh, what the hell that is. Sorry. It was so much. I was like, do I hear bells right now? It was. It was so much. My, my Every alarm, time a my bell rings, Nate just pants. <laughs> That's my alarm telling me I need to meditate. Like, it was. Yeah. It was so. There was so much that I remember not rolling over, and I remember the first thought I said. I was like, I was more impressed than disgusted, and then I like. I was like, I feel better though. Yeah. But I. I. And then I was like, oh, so I don't know. I didn't know how to clean. It was so much I didn't know how to clean. Like I was like I don't know how to get it was so soupy. Kitty litter, dude. It was it was. I'm trying to think Absorption. of the consistency. Absorption. Imagine <laughs> the same like pea soup consistency. Oh, uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. What you're and I was like I don't know how to clean this up because it's Coffee too much grounds. water. And so I literally had I I feel so bad about. This. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. Look, I want to make it very clear. I am not anti anything. But our roommate had the biggest towel in our house was this huge, like double beach towel American flag towel. Oh, no. <laughs> you shit on America, man. You shit on America. You got to go. And it was our it was our roommate's towel, and I was like, it's the only thing that I had to sop up as much as I could. So I just put the towel on it, and it just immediately absorbs all of it. <laughs> and I'm like, shit. How I'll, you like these brown stars? <laughs> so I pick up the towel, and I put it in the trash. Red, bag. white, and poo. But then I I, I actually <laughs> took the towel. To the laundromat because I was like it was it wasn't my towel it was my roommate's towel. You I washed it. I washed it three times. It could not get the stains. The <laughs> of course not. The did green you give it stains. Back? Did you tell him? I did. I did not tell him, but <laughs> I hid the towel. <laughs> I hid the. It. I like. Why is this towel so <laughs> hidden? Why is this towel so stinky? <laughs> this doesn't look like how I remembered it. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't remember, I don't remember putting this here. Where did this come from? I hid the towel. I felt so bad. I was like, I didn't want to throw it away because it wasn't mine. Hey, Nate, just throw it away, man. <laughs> throw it away and give your man $30 and say, I'm sorry. That towel is uh, done now. It was because it, it was. I use other people's toothbrushes. Oh, my God. But I won't do that. That it, I felt. Dude, I, I won't was, do that. That's fucked up. 
Here's the thing. I mean, I, I was, guess what I do is pretty so, fucked yeah, up. No, that's fucked up. Oh, okay. it's just who? <laughs> it's the poo poo boy. <laughs> it was so much that's shit. That's red, white, and poo boy it over here. So mu- it, to be fair, I also threw away my bed. I, I did have a mattress cover, but it leaked through everything and, and was kind of standing the mattress cover. Mm. So I had to actually throw away my bedspread, both of my sheets, the the mattress cover and but you I kept f- the blanket. No, no, no. I threw every everything. I I took all of it to the laundromat. Oh, and then I washed it, but it just it it wouldn't wouldn't come out. Nothing. No, they don't. It doesn't. It doesn't always come out. It was green. It doesn't. Too. I showed you those boxers. I got it to you a little late. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come out. I washed those. I washed those. I put borax. Dude, yeah, in there. I, no bleach, I, poison, peroxide. I put fucking. I I <laughs> washed them like twice. Uh, I did like the 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 safe bleach tide shit like uh, the tide. Um, it yeah, it was. Nah, I sh- did it with sets. Dude. It sets. Diarrhea stank. It was. It, it was. It Take was, it to a dry cleaner, maybe. <laughs> oh my god! And it, then it's bro. kind of embarrassing. Hey, <laughs> I shit my bed. <laughs> I shit my bed. Can you bring your instruments? It was so much liquid. It was, it was an actual pool. Is what was crazy with it. Like, and I never. I didn't know that I could. I didn't realize how the fuck. All of it got outside of my underwear. Time, you were laying. How there long a while. was I shitting for? <laughs> for that much? Long enough. Dude, now yeah. that's a poop story. That's a poop story. <laughs> that's a I puddle. Feel, I feel bad. That's yeah. a that's a Lake Como story. And I'm so that sorry lake. for for shitting on Eric's towel. Perry Como. Yeah, it's all right, bro. Hope you like that conjunctivitis. <laughs> <laughs> How about a little pink eye? <laughs> He never caught COVID. He couldn't figure out why. <laughs> I just had immunities. Maybe uh, it was because of your fecal that, towel. Oh, God. At least I hid the towel. I, I hid it. It was it was definitely changed color, though. It was... Your doo-doo hand oh, towel. Yeah. <laughs> your poop loop. Oof. It was... Mm. Ugh. Yeah. So that's a, that's a shit story that I got. That's a great story. Well, my man, I just love you. That's it, man. I fucking love you, dude. That's it. I love you all. Thank you for liking and subscribing and... Uh, yeah, you know what it is. YouTube uh, alerts, buttons, subscribesies. Click the things. Helps me out, helps you out. And and go to my shows. You all been showing up to all my shows. It's fucking so dope. And I love you all. And thanks for saying hi and telling me you listen to my podcast. Because it makes me go, oh, shit, you know everything. Uh. <laughs> and then I go, ha, 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 and I get nervous. But yeah, I just love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's vibrate higher. Let's heal. Let's get rid of all this bullshit that's not serving us. You know, it's tiring. I get it. You want a little sugar? You want a little cocaine? I get it. I get it. Uh-huh. <laughs> but let's try to be better. No, let's do. Let's fuck try. Remember when I, Kanye taught me that, but now you can't, you can't mention his name. You don't try. You do better. You do better. You do better. You do work. And we're just trying to do better than we were yesterday. That's Damn it. Right. Just a little bit. And then it stacks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, shout out to the Jewish people. Namaste. <laughs> I love you all. Peace and love. You know, you can't reference Kanye. Not <laughs> fucking peace. It's my overall message. Peace. Uh, peace. But defend yourself. Yeah. And uh, that's all. Namaste. Good night.